Hey guys, welcome to Technology News. This is your host Salman, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can improve the speed of your Android phone by following some simple tricks that I'm going to be showing you today that you can use to improve the speed of your Android phone and the overall experience can be improved. Now, this won't improve the speed of your Android phone from like you know a great extent, but it will improve uh, the speed and the performance a little bit and uh, there will be slight noticeable difference and you'll get better performance and shorter load times so let's go ahead and start this video so before i start this will work on most android versions probably above jelly bean or gingerbread anything above gingerbread will work on all android phones because everything has the standard functions and uh, all the features are available on all these versions so let's go ahead and go in the settings i'm going to be using my note 5 galaxy note 5 so i just want to show you that i'm using that phone so when we go down you can see galaxy note 5 smn 920c so that is confirmed that we are using this device so what are we going to do next is we are going to enable developer options so in case you have developer options already enabled that's not, not an issue but if you don't so what you're going to need to do is go to about device you're going to scroll down to software info and then you're going to go to build number and you're going to type the build number five times and the developer option should be unlocked after that once the developer options is unlocked you have to go in developer options enable it of course turn it on and then go all the way down over here uh, where you will see some options such as window animation scale and transition animation scale so you'll get three options over here so what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to window animation scale you're going to turn off animations it's not a big deal you know if you don't really care about those animations i'm going to show you like it's not going to make a big difference so that's it and there's nothing else that you're going to change over here so after this you're going to notice that you know you're just going to uh, move from screens really quickly like for example i'll open youtube and you see instantly it just comes up you don't have all that small low time compared compared to the earlier thing that we had before it used to take slightly more time to open applications like for example i just open chrome and it just opens in a flash and that's really really awesome getting battery low notification right now that's not an issue but still so you can see that any app application we open it's opening in an instant and that's improved the performance okay guys so the next thing that i'm going to be showing you is the next thing that you're going to need to do is clear all your unnecessary things that's running in the background and clear your cache it's really really important and vital that you clear your cache so most devices that you use your device on a daily basis you watch videos you saw the web you're going to build up cache in your phone and what that's going to do is that's going to significantly slow down the performance of your phone it's going to it's like it's going to uh, introduce temporary data into your phone and that's going to you know reduce the performance to some extent and of course you have background apps running in the background that you need to disable that you not use so it's better to disable them rather than having them run for no reason so what you're going to need to do if you're running a samsung device you do get this by default uh, thing over here where you can clear both of these things in case you don't you can download an application called um cc cleaner or you know like uh, you got the cleaner app um, I'll mention it in the description below and you can go ahead and download that app and you can delete it from there so you can delete the cache as well as other temporary files and you can uh, also free up unnecessary background applications you can clear them so over here as you can see I have about 596 unnecessary data that's clogging up in my phone I'm going to go ahead and delete it and it's going to do that in an instant I actually don't remember what that application is called so I'll just mention it in the description below I'll just check it out and I'll mention it or we just I'll just show you in just an instant we just go to play store and you can see C M E A and yeah it's clean master sorry that's the application clean master you're going to download that and you can use that application to clean off your background data or else if you don't want to download that application what you can do is you can 
go ahead in the settings and you can do it as well but before that i'm going to just show you that i'm clearing the ram as well so you can see there's uh, ram it's going to be used it's going to show you like how much ram is used and all the all the applications that are there in the background so you can clear that up i'm not going to clear that up because it might close the screen recorder so i'm just going to leave that but you should clean the application that are running in the background what you can additionally do is also you can go in applications because sometimes when you do that it doesn't permanently close the applications you want to go in applications and you want to force stop the application that you don't use for example you have a double reader over here so even though if you close it using the applications that i told you it might not close so you can go ahead and you can force stop it from here and then the application closes forever until you open reopen it again so that's it's better to do that this saves up memory and this speeds up your android phone significantly because these apps no matter how many times you turn it off they are still going to some process is still going to be running in the background and the other way to delete cache memory from your phone in case you do not have that uh inbuilt feature in your device what you can do is you can go in storage and you have total storage available storage and system memory use space other and then you have cache data once it calculates all the cache data you can go ahead and tap it and you can go ahead and click delete and it's going to delete all the cache data you can also manage the other memory and you can remove unnecessary memory from your phone unnecessary applications and all that stuff now coming to applications the next thing i'm going to tell you is that it's better to delete applications that you do not use and it's better to delete stuff that you do not use so you don't want to have unnecessary data unnecessary applications on your device that you do not use at all uh, it's just going to be there it's just going to sit there uselessly and it's not going to do anything so if you have any applications like let me see if i have any application that i don't use at all um okay i have this quicker application let's say i have this application i go ahead and uninstall it that's it I'm not using this application. It's not worth keeping it on there. It's just going to take up memory. It's going to slow my phone down. And, you know, it's just going to cause a lot of trouble. And then I'm going to tell you is remove unnecessary widgets from your home screen. You don't want to keep widgets on your home screen on, or notification panel or whatever, wherever it might be able to come unnecessarily, which you don't use. You know, I've seen many people, they just have like thousands of widgets rolling all around the screen and they don't even use all that. So if you don't use all those widgets, it's useless. Widgets are something that continuously, you know, works in the background, giving you information actively. So you don't want uh, that stuff to be running in your background unless you're not using them. And in this case, you know, I don't use some of these widgets. And I can go ahead and just un remove them. So it's better to remove them rather than have something useless on your home screen. That's just going to take up memory. That's just going to use RAM and going to slow your phone down. Why do you want to do that? And that's one of the tips that you should follow. Okay, so now the next thing is close applications that you have just used i've seen people they don't close applications after using them many people don't you know they just use the application they just go back and they think that the application is done their work is done so don't think like that the application is still running in the background some part of it is still so once you're using application like for example facebook is open you just go back it's not closed totally you want to go ahead and swipe it off on the multitasking menu so in order to close it completely or almost completely unless there are some special background processes running in the background so you have to do that in order to close it completely okay guys so one of the last tips that i would like to give you before ending this video is you know you can also go ahead and restart your phone once in a week it's advisable to turn off your phone and turn it on again restart it and you know because of over time what happens there's a lot of stuff that's going on your phone and you know some things can be get some things can get messed up and sometimes your phone might not respond as it does because sometimes it happens to me too i'm using my note 5 i know it's a powerful device but what happens sometimes i use the phone on a regular basis i use it a lot i use it completely i use it all day so what happens is sometimes i feel like some applications are opening slowly you know there's some kind of frame rate lag it's happened to me when my friends have seen it and 
in that case you know if you notice anything like that just go ahead and restart your device if you even if you don't just go ahead and restart your device every week just once it'll help your device run better it'll just refresh all the processes and all the internal processes will get it refreshed and restarted so that's a good process and and anyways guys if this video helped you out if you have any comments or questions or if you have any suggestions on anything else that can be done to improve the performance of your device do let me know in the comment section below use that comment section below put some good comments in there and let me know uh, what you think about this video and if you have any other suggestions just let me know and do hit the like button guys smack that like button i want to see 100 likes on this video and lastly do subscribe to my channel please guys please 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 subscribe to my channel i've seen that most of you people like my videos but many of you don't subscribe to my channel so please do hit that subscribe button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on technology peace